Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. For example, this is an example of equivalence class. If, I, if you remember, I have told that any equivalence relation, it divides that set into A1, A2, A3, A and Z. And all are disjoint sets. And all these are holding equivalence relations. So if you see here, there is a set A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where we have this equivalence relation. If the store it is equal to this relation, where a minus b mod is even, we have to prove that all the elements 1, 3, 5 and 2, 4 are related to each other, but there is no element common. So, what we can do is if you see this, uh, it's already told its equivalence a minus b is even. First thing we have to do here is we have to prove that it is equivalence relation. For a relation to be equivalence, it has to be reflexive, symmetrical, and transitive. So for a relation to be reflexive, a comma a should be member of this set. So if you say a comma a, that means a minus a should divide, should be even. A minus a is nothing but zero. Zero is even. Yes. So this relation is reflexive. Done. For symmetry, I am saying a comma b is member, this should imply b comma a is member. So if a comma b is member, I am saying that a minus b mod is even. And a minus b mod and b minus a mod both are same because we have taken mod, it's all positive. So if a minus b mod is even, b minus a mod is also even. If b minus a mod is even, that means b minus a is member of this set. So this is symmetric also. Now comes transitive. For transitive, I told if a comma b is member, b comma c is member, this should imply a comma c is member. That means if a minus b is even, told b minus c is even, told. So if you add these two, actually, so this becomes this cancel. I get a minus c mod is even. So a minus c mod is even this implies that a comma c is a member of the set. If a comma c is a member of the set, this is transitive also. Since I have proved that this relation is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, that means this relation is an equivalence relation. First part is done. Since it is equal to equivalence relation, it will break this into multiple equivalence class that we know. So if you see here, A is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this has been broken into 1, 3, 5 plus 2. All the elements are there now. So it is 2 class. This is A1 and this is A2. 2 equivalence class. So if you see A1, all the members satisfy this condition. If you see B minus A is even if you take any number. 1 minus 3 mod, that is minus 2 mod, even. Sorry, if you take all this set 1, 3, 1, 5, right? 1, 1, and 3, 3, 3, 5, and 5, 3, 5, 5. All these members, if you see, all these members satisfy the condition. A minus B is even. 1 minus 3 minus 2 is even. Minus 4 is even, 0 is even, 3 and uh, 1 I think, 3 and 1, 2 is even, then I have 3 and 3, 0 is even, 3 and 5 minus 2 is even, 5, 5 is even, 5, 1 is even, 5 minus 1 is even, 5 minus 3 is even, all are even, correct, all these values satisfy this relation, similarly if you take 2, 4, then you have 2, 2, 2, 4 and 4, 4, these value also if you see 2 minus 2 0 even 2 minus 4 0 even 4 minus 4 0 even and 4 comma 4 minus 2 2 even so if you see this satisfies all the condition this is all the condition correct 
so they independently are equivalence relation but there is no common element between this set and this set there is no, there is no common element between set a1 and a2 so what we have done we have broken the set a into a1 plus a2 and they are this joint sets we'll take one more example this is one example of equivalence class where you break the bigger relation eq class you break into the smaller uh, subsets so here the question says we have to show that this relation uh, defined by uh, set a is given by a minus b mod is multiple of 4 and a is equal to b the two notions is an equivalence relation and also we have to find a set of elements now to start with to prove it is an equivalence relation we have to prove that it is reflexive symmetric and transitive so to prove i'm trying to solve question in part one now so to prove it is reflexive as i told we have to prove that a comma a is a member of this if a comma is a member of this mod of a minus a that is zero is a multiple of four that is true so this is reflexive I like here rst here reflexive is true for symmetric I told if a comma b is member of this relation set this should imply that b comma is also a member of this set so if a comma b is a member this means a minus b mod is multiple of 4 now a minus b mod is nothing but b minus a mod same thing because anyway we are taking mod so the same thing I wrote instead of a minus b I am saying b minus a multiple of 4 so if b minus a mod is multiple of 4 that means b comma a is part of this set so it is symmetric also for transitive I told if a comma b and b comma c are member this should imply that a comma c is member of the set so I am saying that a minus b mod is multiple of 4 I am saying b minus c mod is multiple of 4 right is multiple of 4 you add both those these you get a minus c mod is multiple of 4 all right done so I tell you I can say that a minus b is nothing but 4k some k k1 right so it is multiple of 4 similarly b minus c is also some 4k2 to add both this is it cancel you get a minus c is nothing but 4 of k1 plus k2 with some constant that is a minus c mod is multiple of 4 since a minus c is multiple of 4 I can say that a comma c is part of the set since a comma c is part of the set I can say that it is transitive also correct now since it is uh, reflexive symmetry and transitive I can say it is an equivalence relation one part is done second is we have to find a set of all elements so you have element uh, in this from 0 to 12 correct so the number here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so out of these values only I have to find a uh, superset sub subsets so if you see if I take 0 as one number so I'll say this is a1 0 as one number the next number possible for me is 4 because 4 minus 0 is 4 that is multiple of 4 the next number will be 4 right 0 4 is gone and the next number will be 8 because again 8 minus 0 is also multiple of 4 and 8 minus 4 is multiple of 4 if I take any other number it won't uh, be true you can check that and the next number will be 12 only 4 number in this set see if you take 0 and if you take 1 0 minus 1 is not multiple of 4 0 and 6 if you take is not multiple of 4 so 0 4 8 12 are the only numbers similarly the next set you will get you take 1 if you take 1 as one number the next number you will get is 5 because 5 minus 1 is 4 so 1 5 and then you will get 9 9 minus 1 is 8 and then you will get 13 13 is not there 
So only three numbers. Right? One, five, nine. Next you can take is a two. We take two. The next possible number is six because two minus six is minus four. And then ten. So two, six, ten are the number. Two, six, ten. Then you have a three. A three will have three. And then you will have seven and eleven. So three, seven, eleven are the number. So if you see this, what we have done, we broke this a into four part. The whole set begins at a. That is having all the numbers equal to twelve. Is now broken into a one plus a two plus a three plus a four. This is a three and this is a four. The other question you can solve on your own. Same thing, same set we have, and we have to find a is equal to b set. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.